Hey y'all, today I'm bringing you three fall DIYs and they're super easy. They're all trash to treasures. All of them, all of them, they're all trash to treasures. And like I said, super easy, super fun. My name is Lisa, by the way, and welcome to Our Gray House. I was gonna cut out a maple leaf shape using this scrap of paper, but I just think it looks a little bit too busy for the project that I'm going to do. So with Captain's help, I cut it out of plain brown paper. I got it from the Dollar Tree and I'm using my distressing ink to go around all the edges of the leaf to give it more dimension. Next, I'm going to take the extra burlap that I had left over from my apple wreath project and I'm going to glue it around the center of the glass jar that I'm using. And I'm just using little dabs of glue because it is burlap and the the glue will kind of seep through. <laughs> I'm not, not trying to burn myself, and you just really don't need that much to keep it in place. Once we have that done, I'm going to gently crumple up the brown leaf, the brown paper leaf, to give it some more character and dimension. I'm not trying to make it look like trash, but I wanna make it look like it's a real leaf that you would have found on the ground, and those leaves typically are not super smooth. They've got some character and rough edges to them. And then I'm gonna take a little dab of hot glue and glue it to the front of the jar. And of course you can see Socks is helping me with this part. He wants to make sure I don't mess up. The next part's easy. You're just gonna take some jute twine and wrap it around and tie a simple knot in the front. And that's it. I think this is cute, this is rustic. The only thing that I would change is possibly using white burlap next time to give it a little bit more contrast and maybe making a smaller leaf. But I like how it turned out. This video is part of the Crafted by Cory mini challenge playlist and I'm gonna leave a link to Cory's channel in the description box below as well as the link to the entire playlist and I really do hope that you click on the link and enjoy all those other videos after you're done watching mine. Can you guess what these four jars used to be? They used to hold everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's and I'm gonna use them in a project today. I'm also using Rust-Oleum's chalked ultra matte paint in the color linen white to paint each of the four jars. I didn't really do anything special to prep the jars. I'm just using this chalk paint and giving them two good coats. After painting, just set them aside to dry. I used my Cricut to make a decal for each of the jars. I'm spelling out the word fall and now I'm just trying to see where I kind of want to position them. Obviously, Captain's helping. And I did that for the remaining three letters. This is how it's turning out so far, but we need to embellish it just a little bit. I'm using nautical rope from the Dollar Tree and wrapping it around two times, securing it with hot glue. I added some florals from Dollar Tree to the glass jars, and this is how it turned out. I think it looks so pretty. For this final project, I'm taking Anita's all-purpose acrylic craft paint in the color terracotta. And I'm gonna give each of these wood blocks, these are just scrap wood that I had on hand, I'm gonna give each of these two good coats. I used my Cricut to cut out the words, I love fall most of all, and I'm just positioning it on each of the wood blocks. The book stack is turning out pretty cute so far, but I'm taking some twine, I'm adding four beads to it, cutting off a strand, and then I've got captain's assistance as you can see. I'm gonna wrap it around the stack of books two times and then I'm gonna use those little bead things to make kind of like tassels, but I have to push it to the very, very end so that you can still see the words on the books. This is how it turned out. This is my favorite project of today's video. I love how it turned out. And the only thing that I would change is I would move the most of all a little bit further to the edge of the right. But in general, I think it looks cute and I'm just really pleased with how it turned out. I think it's gonna look so great on my tiered tray. Thank y'all so much for watching my video today. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget, if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. You know what to do, all the things. It really helps support my channel and I really do appreciate it. And also, if you wanna follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.